Question number two is, uh, these questions listed below are independent, not related to each other. Make sure you know that. Try not to relate these questions to each other because you just don't score any extra marks. All right, so we've got Gem Manufacturing recently purchased new equipment. The company would utilise its own employees to provide the maintenance of the equipment and decide uh, to set aside 150000 per annum for the maintenance of equipment. Management decided to record the amount as a liability for provision of future maintenance of equipment. All right, so we've got a liability there called future maintenance of equipment. It has been further realised that gem manufacturing needs to undertake a large expansion of a factory building to use the equipment more efficiently. Therefore, gem entered into a building contract with cool builders for the expansion of the factory and the building. Construction would start in two months. Do you believe, question, do you believe that gem manufacturing should record a liability for future maintenance of equipment and the building contract for the expansion of the family? Uh, factory building family. So it's early Monday morning still. Explain your reasons by reference to the framework definition for a liability. So it tells you now what you've got to provide me. What's the framework definition of a liability? <laughs> framework definition of a liability. Let's list them. One, there's two, three, and there's two others. What's my three things for a definition of a liability? You can give them to me in single words. So, okay, obligation. And it's a current obligation. What's the next thing? Outflow of economic benefit. So outflow of economic benefit. And economic benefit means cash or goods and services. What's number two? Past transaction, that's right. Or event. When do we recognise? So now this is if we've got these three things, we've got a liability. When do we recognise the liability? When it's probable the outflow will occur? And when we can measure the outflow reliable, uh, reliably, M-E-A-S. So here's my five criteria for recognition of a liability. Recognition definition. Okay. So that's what we've got. So let's have a look at this. Gentlemen, we'll look at these in two separate things. We'll look at the maintenance contract and then we'll look at the building contract. So two separate things. So maintenance contract. Okay. Maintenance contract. Do we have a current obligation? There's a yes or no answer on this one. Do we have a current obligation? Do we owe someone something right now? No current obligation. It's just future expense. So it's just future expense. Um, their own employees... Their own employees are doing the maintenance. So is there a past transaction? Uh, no past transactions. 
Three. Outflow. Yes. There is wages payments. So if I look there, there's a no, there's a no. Should not be a liability. So we don't have to have a liability in this case. So for the maintenance contract, there should be should not be a liability for maintenance contract. Let's look at the building contract. It's as focused as it can go. Let me just try that again. There you go. So let's have a look at the building contract. Let's go through the questions again. Is there a current obligation? Yes, signed contract. Is there a past transaction? Yes. Uh, agree to build. We could just put in there the contract. Will there be an outflow of economic... Oh, it's saying, is there an outflow? Yes, payment for contract. So two months. Is it probable there will be an outflow? Yes. Uh, this business honours its contracts. And can we measure the value reliably? Yes. Price in the contract. Should we recognise a liability? Yes, building contract is a liability.